Hey internet, welcome to another episode of Anatomy Bites. In this episode, we take a look at the sphenoid bone. Hey, welcome back. In this episode, I want to talk about one of the bones that causes the most confusion, at least I've seen in students, when they're studying the skull, and that is the sphenoid bone. But before we talk about the sphenoid bone, I want you to think of a pretty butterfly. And as you can see from the graphic, we're going to slowly morph this butterfly into the sphenoid bone. That's right. I guess if you look at it kind of cross-eyed and a little out of focus. It looks a little bit like a butterfly, but that's what I want you to think about when we're looking at the sphenoid bone. So let's take a look at it in the skull. Really, I'm a trained professional. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I win. Anyhow, let's take a look really in here. You can see this, make sure I'm pointing to the right area. This area right here is where the sphenoid bone is located at. It sits right here and it kind of forms this keystone to the skull. It's dead center and everything kind of connects to it. So let's take a look at the different parts of it. So it's found at the base of the skull like you just saw, in front of the temporal bone and the basilar part of the occipital bone. Now keep in mind, some professors don't want to point to things and say, what is this? Some professors will ask you on an anatomy test by description. So they might ask what bone is found at the base of the skull, things like that. So be able to identify them both ways. So taking a look at the sphenoid bone from different points of view. Here you see the sphenoid bone on the side of the skull. It comes out and forms part of the side of the skull. Taking the skull and cutting it down the middle, so taking this and down like that, you can see the sphenoid bone from that point of view. And there are processes that you need to be aware of when looking at the sphenoid bone. For example, we have the greater wing, the lesser wing, the optical canal, and the cella turcica. So let's take a quick look at what they look like inside the skull. We have, of course, the greater wing, the lesser wing, the optical canal, that's where your optic nerve goes through, and the cella turcica. Cella turcica, by the way, translates to Turkish saddle, and this is where you would find the pituitary. Anyhow, if you've enjoyed this, be sure to tune in for other Anatomy Bites, click that subscribe button, and don't forget, if you want full lectures, be sure to visit Mr. Ford's class here on YouTube, or see all the lecture videos only at mrfordsclass.net. Until later, have fun studying out there, and as always, goodbye for now.